Hello everybody. Well, I'm super proud of this, uh, this baby that I just pushed out, I feel like. Let's <laughs> just see. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Now this is my very, very first watermelon that I've ever grew. And um, I'm very curious to see what the inside look like. Now I've watched a lot of watermelon uh, YouTube video to see when is the best time to pick it. And from there, I finally came back from my long trip and picked this baby. Now, it's huge, uh, 20, 20 kilos. So I've decided to cut it today only because I plan to go to meet up with uh, some art group and there's uh, a lot of ladies there and I also plan to share with the family. Um, I hope we can finish it all before it goes off because I've got another watermelon which is not as big but I believe it would be around the 12 kilo mark and then the other ones and I've got all the other melons to eat as well so I've gone from abundant uh, Suzuki and now I've got uh, melons so it's, it's towards the end of the summer and melons are normally um, are picked then so I didn't get to pick any of my pumpkins because I had to move my pumpkins to uh, to put in a snail house or snail palace which I will show you guys later okay here we go should I go in the middle and okay got my trusty bushy knife which is it was it looks huge before but now against the watermelon it's not so great ready oh I'm scared okay oh, okay. now for this watermelon I actually bought the seedlings from Bunnings and it took a while for it to take off, but once it did, it grew so fast. Let me show you the middle. Oh, <laughs> the middle bit of the watermelon, which is uh, it's pretty reasonable, pretty good. It's a seeded watermelon, thank goodness, not a seedless. Or oh, you have to create. I don't know how you to make a seedless watermelon, but. I prefer fruit that has seeds in it because it's more organic and more um, ba um, back to basic and back to nature. It's not genetically modified. Uh, and I will cut a slice. And share with you what it would taste like. And then, then I will take some insulin. I should have taken my insulin before I do this. It's super fresh, super sweet, and at the same time we grew it ourselves. So, and we didn't we didn't do much work to it. I just fertilized, uh, just mulched the soil with a bit of a uh, compost, and um, and let it grow. Let's do its thing. It, it it needs good water. It needs a lot of water at the beginning, and then. Um, it uh, when it grew enough leaf, I think it had enough uh, energy to start collecting um, water from the evening dew by itself. And I did not order it for the last last stage of its growth, but it's still very juicy. It's not fibrous. It's not too old. It's not too young. Um, I definitely picked it at the right time, so I'm really really happy with that, and I'm really happy to be able to share share this with some of my friends and family for now. Thanks for watching.